Welcome to Canada! What is up, fellow YouTubers? Uh, welcome back to another episode of Gaming Grabs. Uh, first up, I'd like to uh, give a few uh, channel announcements uh, and updates for you guys. Uh, first off, I want to give a huge shout out and a huge thank you to all of the uh, guys that I met up at the uh, Waterloo Video Game Swap. I know this is coming out like a week later, um, but uh, I don't think that came across very well in my last video. Uh, a huge thank you and shout outs to Canadian Retro, Longshot, King Carl, Gamer Mac Murdo. Uh, CJR. Uh, if you haven't checked out those guys, go and check them out. Uh, you can check out the last video to see all of their links, and that's a pretty awesome video too. Uh, and that's the other part I want to mention, is that has become the second most popular video on our channel. Uh, and that's partly thanks to all of you guys who did shoutouts for um, our channel. Uh, so we really appreciate that. And uh, we've also got a whole lot more subscribers. We jumped for 192 uh, a week today, uh, and now we're up to 216. Uh, so a huge thank you to any and all YouTubers who gave us a shout out uh, and a huge welcome to all of the new subscribers We really hope you enjoy the channel as well um, So that's it so also because we've gone over the 200 subscribers um, I will be doing a game room tour uh, hopefully this week at some point um, I have a few more exams I have to deal with first and then uh, a game room tour will be coming um, It's not gonna be that special, but I uh, hope you guys will enjoy um, for any new subscribers to the channel, we are going to have a 250 subscriber contest. Um, so shout outs are always welcome if you want to get up to that uh, 250 sub and then we can give out, uh, we can start the, the contest. Um, so anyways, that is uh, all the business end of things. Um, so yeah, we'll get on to the, uh, the game and grabs. Um, this is the only non-Nintendo related item that I picked up this week. Um, and not that this is a very uh, valuable game or a very, I guess, sought after game, but it looks absolutely hilarious and I like things that are a little bit, you know, out of the ordinary, a little bit out of the box, and it is uh, Whiplash for the PS2. Uh, this game looks really funny. Uh, it is complete. And for this I paid uh, $3.99. Uh, this is really hilarious. You play as like a, uh, a weasel or a fox or I don't really know what it is uh, but anyways you're trying to escape like a mental institution type thing and you have a, uh, a companion bunny who it is who is uh, chained to you that you use as your weapon he's an indestructible bunny um, so basically you just kind of use him and you throw you whip this bunny around like God of War style at people and enemies and objects and destroy them so it looks absolutely ridiculous um, so I'm looking actually forward to playing that game and trying it out uh, and now on to all the um, Nintendo stuff, which is really cool. I don't really find a whole lot of GameCube or GameCube, Nintendo, anything related out here. So I figured I would grab it while I could. And I actually picked the stuff up just before the swap. Um, but I didn't want to um, overload that week with like just random pickups. So I just figured I'd wait until I found some more stuff. Um, so I found for the GameCube, uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3. Um, I did have this for the PS2, but I gave it that way to a friend. Um, so, and I, I kind of prefer uh, the GameCube controller over the PS controller anyway. Um, and that was $2.99. So, for some reason, they decided to downprice all their games, which is, you know what, I'm okay with that. That's pretty awesome. Complete. Uh, next up is a player's choice. I think this only came in player's choice, actually. Uh, but please correct me if I'm wrong. And it is uh, Pac Man vs. and Pac Man World 2. Um, pretty cool, and this was uh, $3.99. It is com actually it's not complete. Is it complete? It's not. Uh, but that's okay. But it comes with both discs, uh, which is cool. Sorry, I thought that was a manual, but it's just kind of like gameplay instructions. I guess it is kind of a manual. It's just a really I've never seen that manual before. That's really weird. Um, yeah. 
whatever. That'll work. Uh, but did not have this in the uh, collection yet. Um, so we're gonna try it out. It also is uh, compatible with the Game Boy Advance, and I do like getting these like Game Boy com Game Boy Advance compatible games. Um, just because it's something interesting, I think it's really cool that Nintendo tried to like incorporate incorporate handhelds and uh, console stuff. Um, I think they really need to do that with the Wii U and the 3DS. Not that I have either of those consoles, but it just makes sense. Like you have two screens on a DS or the 3DS, so why wouldn't you have? And you have two screens on the Wii U, so. I don't know, like incorporate the 3DS into the Wii U. It just makes sense. Uh, personal, personal thing. Um, and the last GameCube game I found is pretty awesome because um, someone tried to sell me this a while ago for like $20, $25. Uh, and I, thankfully I said no because I found it for much cheaper. And it is uh, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles uh, on GameCube. I hear this is the one of the weaker uh, Final Fantasy games. Um, but still kind of fun and it's, again it's one of these uh, Game Boy Advance compatible games uh, you can link it up with a few extra um, Game Boy Advances and play like 4 player on it 4 um, player co-op which seems pretty cool to me um, it is complete that one is complete I know that and uh, the best part it says it comes with a, uh, a GameCube like connector cable that didn't come with it but I do have one anyway um, the best part about this is it was only marked for $2.99 um, so they must have had someone in there who just didn't know games or didn't follow the policy of marking every game for like 10 bucks now, so, um, I'm always happy with that. Uh, next up I found some awesome DS stuff. I know Canadian Retro found a whole load of DS stuff, uh, recently, and I did comment on one of his videos, on one of his videos that I also found on DS stuff. Uh, so this is stuff I found. There was a whole lot of other games there, but I, I kind of picked out the best ones, um, from the bunch. Um, but when I went back later, all the other DS games were gone. Uh, but these are the ones I picked up. It's Bang Bangayo Spirits. Um, I know absolutely nothing about this game. I looked up some gameplay of it. Um, it looks really, really insane. It looks like it's going to be one of those uh, like crazy, crazy nonsensical games that you have like you have to get from an endpoint to a goal point. Um, it was marked for five bucks. Uh, I'm okay with that. It was pretty good. And with all these games, I did have a 30% off coupon uh, for Value Village, so keep that in mind as well. Pricing. Um, this thing's impossible to open. Uh, it is complete, and it's in really good shape too. All these games are in really good shape, so I'm really happy with it. Uh, the next up is Aliens Infestation on the DS. Uh, this was a very late release to the DS system. Uh, it's kind of like that Metroidvania um, style game only with aliens, which I'm a much bigger fan of aliens than Castlevania or Metroid. I know that must seem really bad, but um, just the lore of it seems a lot more interesting. Um, mind you, I haven't really played any Metroid or Castlevania games, so it's kind of my fault. Um, but anyways, uh, really, really looking forward to playing this game. It looks really fun. Um, again, marked for $4.99. Um, complete as well really good shape. Um, the cool part about this is I think you have like 13 marines that you have to play with and uh, once that once that marine dies they're they're dead for the entire game you can't get them back and you have to go you have to go somewhere else. Um, so it's a really cool concept I'm really looking forward to actually playing that. Um, this is where the games actually start getting even better those ones are awesome games obviously well at least the alien ones to me. Um, Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow uh, for the DS obviously. Um, this one was marked for six bucks, so they obviously kind of recognize the Castlevania name on that one. Uh, it is complete. I believe this is the second one. I think this one was, I think it was Age of Sorrow or something like that. I don't remember. But um, yeah, looking forward to playing that. Uh, again, I haven't really played Castlevania games. I know this one is um, uh, much different than the other ones. You don't play as any of the Belmonts. Uh, you play as this guy, Soma Cruz. Um, but the gameplay footage and reviews I looked up seem to be fairly positive. Uh, this one is Mega Man ZX on the DS. Um, another game that's, again, not one of the greater uh, Mega Man games, but it's still pretty good. Uh, looking forward to playing it. I love platformers, so I'm kind of my, one of my favorite genres. Uh, six bucks again. Uh, complete, good shape. Uh, so yeah, really looking forward to playing that. Again, the reviews are, I guess, 
it's kind of split. Some people really like it, some people really don't like it. Apparently it's really confusing if you leave for too long and you try to come back. Good luck finding off where you, where you need to go and what you need to do. Um, but still, kind of interesting. Uh, and then one of the best games of, uh, of that bundle, I guess, would be uh, 999, 9 hours, 9 persons, 9 doors. Uh, this is kind of one of those um, graphic motion comic book things, uh, adventures. Um, I've had a few YouTubers who actually, well I've seen, I haven't actually told me, but I've heard a lot of YouTubers. Uh, highly recommend this game. Uh, six bucks again, so don't know where that pricing came from. Uh, but totally worth it. Uh, complete again. Um, so, gonna be interesting to try it out. I haven't, I haven't really done a whole lot of those visual novel type games. Um, but I have been interested in them, just trying to figure out, I'm a huge, I know, I like story, I'm a story buff guy, um, but, uh, anyways, looking forward to trying that out. Uh, so all those games, <clears throat> with a 30% off coupon, uh, it actually made it really worth it, and they're all, like, much below retail, um, like, way below retail. So, <clears throat> that's what thrifting's all about, and I really loved it. <clears throat> Next, I went to, um, a Goodwill. This, my Goodwill's been empty, like they have no games whatsoever, like at all no games. I've, I've scoured that score, that store a few times and there's been nothing. I guess what they did have they just got rid of because it wasn't selling, which are just like crappy sports games. Um, but I did go in the one day and they had these sitting there. They're not in the world's best shape, but they were pretty damn cheap, so I figured I'd pick them up. Um, these are Nintendo controllers, they were three bucks each. Uh, they're pretty beat up. I do have to clean them up. I think I'm gonna pull them apart and clean them up, see if I can get some stains out of them. But like the corner of that one's all chewed up. Um, but whatever, they're three bucks. Six bucks for the two of them. Couldn't really go wrong. Need some spares or need some mods or need some parts. I don't know. They'll come in handy at some point or trades or whatever. Um, so that is it. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, if you like this video, please hit that uh, like button down below. Subscribe as well. Uh, we try to put content out as often as we can. Um, and uh, be sure to give us, uh, uh, I don't know, some some feedback on, on what we're doing, what you like, what you don't like, things like that. Uh, and if you want to give us a shout out so we can get up to 250 subs and uh, get a contest out for you guys, that would be awesome too. Um, <clears throat> that would be great. Uh, that is everything, so I will see you guys next time.